Hi everyone. Uh, I just let's just wait for a couple of minutes for people to join. Okay, I can see a couple of people. Uh, let me just wait for what's the time right now? Yeah, let's just wait for two or three more minutes and then we shall start today's episode, which is on automatic negative thoughts. So, kindly hold on till that time. Uh, another minute and I shall start. Thank you for staying connected. Alright, a very warm welcome to all those who are watching the live right now and those who will be watching the recorded uh, live later. So uh, today's episode is on something which uh, some, you know, more or less every one of us have faced and things which are pretty common with overthinkers. And uh, even if you are not an overthinker, you probably would have experienced this some point of time in your life. So it is called automatic negative thinking in our psychology we call it and so um, gt now why and uh, if you see that uh, when it comes to and um ants uh, there is always see you know they follow a cue there are you know they just follow each other and there is a cue that follows and uh, one is behind the other and there is this this kind of a thing which you can see on the walls or on the um on your windows or doors or things like that so and that's the nature of ants so basically automatic negative thought is when one thought is followed by another negative thought then it is followed by another negative thought and it leads to a complete feeling of you know you feel suffocated you feel extremely overwhelmed you feel that uh, you're not able to breathe you just feel suddenly out of nowhere you know good mood and suddenly you feel extremely depressed extremely sad um and uh, you just feel hopeless basically so uh keeping that in mind um the how does it all start this automatic negative thought nobody is born negative right uh, but this automatic negative thinking uh due to certain assumptions that we probably had in our lifetime or certain belief system that we have tend to form uh, over the experiences that we have encountered in our life we uh, we tend to think that this person is like this we tend to read certain situations in certain manner we started giving meanings to certain things and uh, basically there is a whole lot of assumptions that goes around uh, when we have uh, you know when we have faced or encountered certain situations so what happens is uh, for example you have thoughts like yeah nobody listens to me or everybody is saying 
or he is like that or she is like that she is always into this i could not do this that means i am a failure that i have always failed so uh, this is not the first time last time also it happened so what is happening is there is this chain of thoughts that are happening and one negative thought is leading to the other negative thought that is leading to the other negative thought and probably you started at a very simple small note but by the end of your negative thought this loop this makes you feel horrible and this is what is called automatic negative thinking or ant where one is following the other and there is a chain and there is like even if you spray uh, those uh, anti uh, you know those those hit kind of stuffs and you spray on that for some time it's gone but again it comes back again the lines of ant comes back so basically this is how it works uh, in automatic negative thinking now what what is the uh, what is the result of this automatic negative thinking now one negative thought leading to other the other another another when it happened for a long period of time it forms something called cognitive biases now what is a cognitive bias a cognitive bias is when we start thinking in a particular fashion or a particular manner or pattern we cannot think outside of that so for example uh, if uh, i i can have a cognitive bias of over generalization now what is over generalization every time you do this probably the person has done it only once or twice but you just name it take name it as every time you do this or you can just say that uh, this is called either or either or not like either this or that nothing in between so you are, you are either calling coming with me tonight or i'm never going to talk to you okay either he is calling me right now or otherwise it's over so this 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 kind of thought patterns or uh, there it can be certain other thought patterns like for example um uh, minimize minimization now what is minimization when somebody has done so much for you but one you know you know you you don't consider it it is important when somebody has done enough for uh, you that but you don't consider this important and you just uh, pick pick the thing which he did not or she did not do correctly and that becomes magnification hello chandrani i can see you have joined uh, so i've just started uh, about 5 minutes back a little recap on uh, what i said so that uh, you know what i'm talking about so and or automatic negative thinking is basically the name has come from the uh, characteristic of ants if you have seen that ants follow each other it follows a queue and things like that so in our uh, life people who have we have encountered uh, things we have encountered uh, various kind of incidents we have encountered various issues in our life or we have started looking at things in a particular fashion we it has led to the development of certain assumptions and belief system with the help of these assumptions and belief systems it 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 can lead to a spiral of negative thinking now wh what is this spiral of negative thinking just like the ants you think that uh, i don't think i am i will be able to do this and from there it goes to last time also i could not do and uh, last time also they said they will do this but i know they are not going to do anything about it i just feel hopeless you know then my life has no meaning i am also suffering like this it, this this so it continues it starts from this and then it becomes this much and suddenly which is a very small thing might be it becomes so magnified that we feel horrible about ourselves we feel suffocated and extremely overwhelmed so this is called the automatic negative thought and that's why the name has come from ant because it follows one another one leads to the other one leads to the other and all of this is happening because we have formed certain assumptions we have formed certain belief system about ourselves or people have made us uh, form certain belief system about ourselves about the situation around us about the world about the people or our previous experiences have told us that this is always going to be like this so it cannot be other than this and that leads to this spiral of uh, uh, negative thought yes before every work these days i feel like it takes time to bring back that confidence yes and it did not happen like nobody was born like this it is somewhere like we uh, we have been and we have encountered certain 
various circumstances in our life we have encountered various situations in our life people has made us believe like this or you know one after other incidents have let us you know have made us believe that this is how it's going to be and that has shattered our confidence level and which leads to this automatic negative thinking so one leads to other one leads to other and it becomes too big it becomes a black cloud and it starts to dawn upon us and that's how it it all builds up now what is the now what happens after this is automatic negative thinking is the first step now when it, this automatic negative thinking is happening for a long period of time it leads to the formation of cognitive biases now almost every one of us have certain cognitive bias now what is cognitive bias which i was saying is a pattern of thinking the way, you know i'm thinking in a certain way like uh, there are many cognitive biases i will have a separate live next month only on cognitive bias but i'll just give a few examples which will help us to understand what does automatic negative thinking makes us do cognitive bias for can be like a uh, general over generalization the over generalization is if somebody has not done something let's say i could not do something today or i have missed two times out of 10 but the person on the other hand who is suffering from this uh, cognitive bias of over generalization they will say you always do like this you never follow this or if you fail once you tell yourself i all, i'm i'm a complete failure i i just cannot do this this is called in the either or all thinking either i am successful if i clear this or i am a failure it is either or all thinking or which i was saying minimization minimization is i can do so many things but i will just not consider any of this everything is very small for me or magnification that everything is good but one thing that you did wrong i will pick that up and i will say that this is incorrect that is why you have a problem so it is not that the person has done this or person has formed this cognitive biases willingly but the thing is this or constant uh, you know this constant spiral this constant uh, loop of automatic negative thinking and assumptions and belief systems leads to the formation of such cognitive biases now when this cognitive we are operating from such cognitive biases it impacts our life choices it impacts the way we behave and feel about ourselves and about the people around us that leads to the formation of something called the cognitive triad now what is this cognitive triad this is called beck's cognitive triad cognitive triad is considered as one of the major reason behind depression and anxiety now what is the, what are the three components of this cognitive triad the first component of cognitive triad is how i feel about myself the second thing is how i feel about other people third thing is how the how do i feel about the entire world and the world feels about me now all of this is happening inside my head nothing is a reality i see certain situations in certain way and that's why i interpret it like this because it has always happened like this so it will always be like that and that's why i start thinking in that particular fashion which leads to certain self belief that i cannot do this i am like this i am a failure i am this i am that whatever it is or he is like this or she is like this and that leads to the when i feel something about myself and i feel something about the other person that impacts my view about the world around us and then i become absolutely hopeless and helpless about the world and that leads to the formation of depression so basically it is very easy to say that you know i am depressed but depression can stem from different situation or anxiety can stem from different situation now you can ask me what what is this why are we thinking something like this about us and something like this about others even though we have cognitive biases we can choose not to think like that yes we can but in between this cognitive bias and the cognitive triad something else comes which is called the pygmalion effect now what is this pygmalion effect the pygmalion effect is uh it is like a cycle i feel like this for myself uh, this this pygmalion effect which comes in between the uh, cognitive biases and the uh, what you call the cognitive triad it it impacts our perspectives when i uh, when i say that you know it's all a matter of perspective this perspective gets affected at this stage now what is the perspective i see you are behaving like this with me okay so i think you have some problem with me and when i know that you have some problem with me my behavior my thought change if my thoughts change 
my behavior changes if my behavior towards you change then you would also have certain understanding that why her or his behavior is changing and now your behavior is also changing in response to my behavior which is and that i am not considering that but that is reinforcing my thought that yes you have some problems with me once again i'll just it's a little confusing but i'll just explain it again let's say i have some pro i feel that this x person has some problem with me because of certain behaviors that behavior might not be related with me or might be anything for any matter maybe some some jhagra has happened yesterday and this person is behaving something uh, you know uh, indifferent with me and i feel it's a repercussion of the last night's jhagra but the thing is it can also be some other reason but i am thinking from my cognitive bias it is like either or all yahi isi karan se hoga and now what what is happening is this person i see that this person behavior is different towards me and when this person behavior is different towards me my behavior is also changing it can be good it can be bad whatever it is pigmalion effect can work in the positive as well as in the negative thing so if my behavior changes towards this person my action would also change because my thought impacts my behavior so my behavior and my action changes towards this person now this person feels ye abhi bhi aise behave kar raha hai iska matlab usi kal raat ka jhagda hoga so and this person's thought and behavior is also impacting now changing and now i see that more and more this person is behaving out of their character which means matlab mai sahi thi mai sahi soch rahi thi and like this this loop of pigmalion effect comes you know continues it's it's just like that for positive also it can happen for negative also it can happen and that leads to the formation of this cognitive triad so just imagine this this small negative one negative thought if we all get negative thought there is nothing abnormal about it but when i'm continuously getting automatically the negative thoughts are coming it's like for autopilot mode it's a switch on kiya everything is happening that it, but particularly basically means that this is the first step which can lead to the formation of cognitive biases and if cognitive biases are forming that can impact that can have this pigmalion effect and can can lead to the formation of the cognitive triad now these are our technical terms so at the end what is happening is our uh, my self belief my perspective towards others and myself is changing which is continuously leading to this negative thinking so the question comes is what can i do about it at the end of the day that is my question what can i do about it can this can this change yes uh, because this is very common with overthinkers this happens always and somehow things fall in place like that we like that and we start feeling it is because of that incident yes exactly so uh, basically uh, the problem is uh, we have this habit of uh, you know all of us Our, we we all have the hu- the human brain actually the human brain needs closure that is the whole thing if the human brain needs closure that basically means that if i am not getting clarity from certain incidents from someone i would uh, put in my assumptions and my ways of closing that question mark in my brain and that impacts the relationships or each situations even more so i don't uh, feel like communicating and uh, these things are happening inside my brain i am thinking in one way one is leading to the other and one is leading to the other and my assumptions basically that impacts the overall perspective that i hold about myself about other people about the world about everything around us so now the question is what can i do so can i do certain meditation and i can i get it out yes baby but if you really need to solve this problem the first thing is we if i just solve the behavior or action it can come back because that is not where it started we have to come down to the root cause which is the assumptions because our assumptions impacts our belief system so if assumptions are impacting the belief system and from which is impacting all our negative thinking all all of this technicalities that i spoke about that means i have to impact or i have to work on the assumptions first now in order to work on the assumptions the first thing is i should be ready to no i should be ready to be proved wrong the major point is most of the people are not ready to be proved wrong because they have already formed certain belief systems and they don't want to break it and that's where it becomes that stubborn thing that this impacts our negative thought processes 
so i should be ready to be proved wrong okay i can be wrong and if i can be wrong that means there is always a chance of have a different assumption or a different perspective towards that situation so the if i have to break or if i have to challenge my assumptions i have to go much 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 deeper it our work and here two things works miraculously in stopping the automatic negative thinking the first thing is the progressive muscle relaxation which relaxes the brain the actually three things the first is the progressive muscle relaxation which relaxes the negative feeling and the stress from your body and your mind which is my favorite which is called pmr the second thing is whenever the spiral of negative thinking comes immediately just say stop because this is called pattern break our brain is thinking let's say you even if you're thinking something very nice and suddenly there is a loud noise your think your thoughts gets distracted right you get a little kyo no kya hua you just become like this so immediately when this continuous spiral of negative thinking negative thinking negative thinking is coming it's just loudly say stop and when you continue to say this stop it basically breaks it basically breaks that thought pattern so if i have formed certain assumptions and belief system which is impacting the my life is it is impacting my choices my beliefs my self belief my confidence level everything then i should be the one who should be breaking it instead of somebody else so if you have to break your belief system keep on telling yourself stop whenever this negative thing stop stop so like this so it, it's like a big rock if you just say one stop nothing probably would happen you have to continue to hammer it till it breaks into small pieces this is another thing the third thing which is extremely beneficial for automatic negative thinking is called the thought diary uh for people who are part of the mental health group of sanhati they know that i have always recommended thought diary now what is thought diary it is you make certain columns in the diary three columns the first column is the date and time the second column is the thought then the third column is the alternative thought now the first column for example right now 11th of march was it 8:30 so 11th of march 8:30 pm i write that date and time and i get a thought i don't think i can make it i just write this thought after i write this thought my time my my uh, action should be just deep breathe just deep breathe for maybe 1 minute just deep breathe continue to deep breathe and force yourself to think positive force like literally force you know you cannot think positive but you have to force it will sound very mechanical but what we are trying to do basically is we trying to rewire the brain and change the assumption system so not working on the actions but we are working at a much much deeper and core level so what we are doing is you write the date and time uh this time this year this thought has come it can happen that in a day you get 100 such thoughts you might say do i write all 100 of them yes the answer is yes because when you keep on writing such negative thoughts it will tell you is there a pattern it will tell you what are the cognitive biases from which you are operating it will tell you what what kind of pigmalion effect you have developed it will also tell you if you have developed the cognitive triad that i spoke about so when you keep on writing these thoughts then you forcibly try to say no i think i can do it because you can ask anybody whoever has used thought diary when you you might just say okay mai positive soch lungi nahi sochne se nahi hoga you have to write you know when we were young we were told ki likhe likhe pad you know you write and you mug up why because when you write it and you mug it up it it gets into your brain it gets more into the brain so if that is the thing if it gets more so much into the brain that means when we are trying to do something with our life we are trying to make a shift in our thought processes in our life it's very important we write down the negative thoughts and forcibly write the positive thought which we want to think in for the 4 5 days 6 days 7 days you might just feel what it is such a fruitful exercise no it's not you would see that after some time the amount of negative thoughts tends to reduce and the pattern tends to change and slowly slowly very slowly suddenly there are no negative thoughts not so much that it will impact you we i have so many examples of people who whom i have recommended thought diary and they have come out of anxiety disorders 
I have asked them no, no medicines, just anxiety disorders. You can be cured through PMR, thought diary, and just tell yourself, stop, stop. If you're outside, you can ask me, if I'm outside, I cannot write. They thought I am, I will No, you can't do that. I know, I know that you can't do. But what you can do is you can just say to yourself, stop. And you can also do something which is called deep breathing. Because the moment you breathe deeply, it increases the level of endorphins and the good hormones and reduces cortisol, which directly impacts your negative thinking. It reduces the negative thinking. So it's very simple step that you have to change the assumption. See, even the light lit up automatically. I don't know how, but whatever it is. So even if, even if you know, these are very simple things. If you have to make certain simple changes in your life, and you can see a magnanimous shift in their perspective. I have seen people, I had automatic negative thinking. Money, you will have to write the positive thoughts when you get the negative thoughts. Yes, but not immediately. So three, three columns. The first column is the date and time. The second column is you write the negative thought, exactly what happened. Then just close your eyes, deep breathe, deep breathe, deep breathe, calm down. One minute, two minutes. Get a hold of yourself, get a hold of your brain, your, your heart and then force yourself. No, this is not it. So it is basically you're telling your brain it's time to change your syllabus. It's time to change your course curriculum. And now that is how the rewiring starts. But will that this only work? No, these three, four things work together. First is PMR. It works miraculously. PMR along with thought diary. This is one combo. Along with this combo, uh, is it like doing affirmation? I'll just come to that point. Along with this combo, uh, you will also have to do the deep breathing when you are come outside. Like I, a few days back, I've shared a post which says like the power of breathing. So do that. And the most importantly, if you're outside and there's a constant spiral, stop. Just say that. Is it like doing affirmation? You can say that, but it is not always affirmation. You don't have to say always that I am strong, I am this, I am that. Although you can say that, but it can be specific to that thought also. For example, uh, if there is financial uh, crunch in your home. So uh, at that time, if you start saying I'm financially abundant, that is also okay, but it can be more specific that uh, you, your thought is I don't think I can last this month. And you can just say that I'll make arrangements, I'll make some changes, I will cut down on the unnecessary expenses and I will be able to manage this month. And not only this month, I'll be able to manage every month. So even if it is an affirmation, but it is not those, um, those affirmation that we see on the internet. It is more like just customizing it based on the thought that you are having. Now, does it work? 100%. 100% work. You have examples in the in Sanhati also that for people whom it works. It actually works miraculously. When people start writing the positive thought, you would see that so many good things start coming out. In fact, my, but the, everybody has the good things. But it is just suppressed under this negative, this cognitive PR, this automatic negative thinking. And this thing is have to come out. I'm having, <coughs> I'm having some issues. With my health and i'm feeling that again i will have to go through the painful job what should i do i'm worried uh yes okay so when you feel that you again have to go through the painful journey it is because of my previous experiences okay here what you can do is uh, two three things uh first thing is there is a a guided imagery is there uh, not the one that you have guided imagery or hypnotherapy is there on healing on painful on on the on the body pains or the experiences that you have that is one thing the second thing is which you can do on this would need some assistance which definitely i can help but what you can do on your own is pmr is something which you can do and you can start doing the thought diary when you say i can feel that i have to go through the surgery this is what you feel so wait for some time deep breathe okay no a lot of cells have recovered. My reports are normal. Everything is fine. And I should be doing well and good. I will not have to go through this again and again. Because you know that what if you are continuously thinking negatively, na, we are also manifesting those negative thoughts in our life. So let's not manifest those things. And uh, so PMR, stop saying the stop, 
deep breath pmr thought diary these are the four things anybody can do on their own but what you can do also do to a deep level thing deep level uh, resolution for this definitely a hypnotherapy would work wonders here um, and second thing is the guided meditation the guided imagery can be given which you can do every day every day at night before sleep so that it impacts your subconscious and subconsciously these thoughts goes because these thoughts are not conscious like this sub these are deep rooted in the subconscious mind because even when you were going through that operation or surgery you subconscious mind was awake so it has the memory so basically we have to wash out those memory and that can be done wonderfully through hypnotherapy so that is one thing you can do where i can definitely help but on your own what you can do are the four things first thing is pmr along with pmr it is the thought diary the second thing is saying to stop loudly when such spiral of negative thoughts are coming and fourth is deep breathing breathing works wonders so now shrestha is asking how to do positive breathing while we have the negative thoughts like this exactly what i was just saying whenever you have spiral of negative thoughts stop you will see that the negative thought just breaks it breaks the pattern in in uh, in your brain it i just said that uh, you know when i was when you think very deeply about something and suddenly there is this loud noise outside and you will become like this it changes uh, your thought process so that's where the thought uh, you know thought diary or the pro, uh, pmr comes into picture what is pmr it is progressive muscle relaxation relaxing every muscle of your body by taking some time starting from the top of your head to the tip of your toe so uh, it every time i mean every time it's not possible to do like that it is actually possible every time to do like that if you want uh, but if you want to do it you have to do it at a deeper level it is not that we have to do it at a superficial level and the deeper level starts with pmr thought diary stop and deep breathing these are the four things and a much deeper level than this is hypnotherapy one hypnotherapy sessions 20% of the problem solved and it can be done online also so there is nothing not a much of a problem people who have done hypnotherapy they know how does it work so that should not be a problem so chandrani telling you uh, if you want hypnotherapy just tell me we can do that that is not a problem but on your own there are things that you can do and these are the four things right pmr and thought diary are the most important telling stop when such negative thoughts are coming is so important and deep breathing these are the four things you can do to stop this automatic negative thinking and much much deeper level a guided imagery can work and hypnotherapy of course can work okay so uh that is pretty much of it it is possible it might sound that it is impossible but no i have examples now previously i used to say because theoretically but i have examples live whom all of you are like all of you know her i have help like that like this this person has come out of this automatic negative thinking and have actually solved their physical problems they were suffering physically and have solved that problem so it is possible but the thing is you have to do it it's not that you will do it only once you will have to do it every day you will have to do it day on day you probably have to do it couple of months and you will see a magnanimous shift in your life just this four things if you do even if you don't want to take hypnotherapy even if you don't trust my hypnotherapy i don't mind but trust yourself and do these four things it will work it will work magically and uh, automatic negative thinking is something which is solvable i do pmr mostly it helps me a lot i will start with the stop and thought diary resolution process yes please do that and do deep breathing deep breathing is something which you do and thought diary is something which you can keep in case you are outside and you are getting this words negative thoughts just record in your voice and you cannot loudly say stop just record in your own voice stop and play that keep on playing that in your earphone stop 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 and brain stops the problem is brain is our servant we are the masters the problem starts happening is when we start uh, becoming the servant and the brain starts becoming the master that's when the problem starts happening and that impacts our perspective that impacts everything so if you have to do something you have to go one step beyond and start we have to start solving before the problem occurred we cannot start solving when the problem has occurred so we have to go one step beyond and start resolving the problem 
I have uh, I witnessed that and also for me you've done a lot thank you those to you thank you thank you very much so please do these four things for people who are suffering from automatic negative thinking and if you want to go one step more than this I have uh, tools for that also but these are the four things you can do on your own all right so that's pretty much about today's live and the next live will be on our facebook page on oral health because we have the world oral health day this month so uh, that day shreshta will be going live and uh, till then please work on this automatic negative thinking yourself you can do wonders you can do magic in your life it is not you cannot everything is in your hand you just have to key it in a different way thank you everyone please take care of yourself thank you hopefully i'll be able to overcome too of course you will be you you are already under therapy right you don't worry you will be able to overcome everything so again root cause we will not for you the cause is different so the root cause we have to go into the root cause and start, just uproot it from there upar upar se सॉल्व होने से ऑटोमेटिक नेगेटिव थिंकिंग नहीं जाएगा वी हैव टू गो मच मच डीपर लेवल एंड जस्ट अप्रूट इट लाइक दिस एंड थ्रो इट आउट ऑफ आवर लाइफ यू विल बी एबल टू ओवरकम डोंट वरी आई एम देर सो टेक केयर एवरी वन थैंक यू वेरी मच